Good afternoon. It's 1.08 p.m. on Monday, April 15th, 2013. Month is officially half over. It's about 70 degrees right now. Sun's out. We see, we see shadows. And uh, welcome to Monday. Typical, I've got the one class today, Intro to Aeronautics 215-330, so we'll get that out of the way. This afternoon, depending on how the weather keeps up or goes to crap, we don't know. I'll probably do some stuff outside, whether that's bringing out the rest of the patio furniture. There's four chairs go around that table, and then there are two chairs that go over there. May or may not do that. I think Colt's going to finish his uh, sunroof today, so the headliner will be done. Hopefully that video will get up. We got almost the first two weeks of April a video every day, and we can't do that in a whole month. Um, you know, people like watching videos, but every day when there's another five to ten minutes that gets old so we're going to take a couple days off now we'll get the sunroof video up uh, with the m5 here uh, we don't have a whole lot scheduled with that for the immediate future which is actually nice to take a break and just drive the car for a while so we'll keep doing that but i've got the ipad charging because it is always dead it is on i can't see through glasses is that 10 percent i think so uh, that is what this is for and i'm going to leave in a few minutes and we'll get that glass out of the way Mr. Pasco, Pete Spitaleri, nice Maserati Quattroport. About 300 feet away, we have a Fisker. Check that out. Nice. Another 100 feet, a Porsche Carrera 4 GTS. Yeah, buddy. Parking lot of uh, Hershey's ice cream back here on 303. There's a uh, Estroil Blue F30 335i M Sport. Very, very nice. Hudson is definitely awake, uh, and it's very welcome to see all these cars again. I mean, the 911, the Fisker, and the Maserati, and the 95, all within 600 feet of each other downtown at 124 on a Monday. Very cool. That's what I like to see. We're here early. It's uh, 149, which means I have like uh, 25, 26 minutes till class starts, which is perfect. Make myself walk around all, walk around uh, center campus here, or whatever, and uh, get out of here a little bit. So for great, it's good times. That one's done. He came over yesterday and told me to do it this week, so that's good service. Get her done on Monday. Um, I've only done mine once this year, back in March, and uh, it's getting to be ready again. So I'll probably do that tomorrow if it doesn't rain, but I think it's going to, so hopefully sometime this week. If we look outside, we see a sunset, and I've been working again. Notice there's a screen in here. I did my bedroom window, cleaned the window inside and out, cleaned the window panes. Um, now I'm in the master bedroom, doing the same thing here. Uh, one screen left to go in, it's going to go in there. Over there, that window, the office is all complete. Uh, now I'm cleaning the inside of the window because they're filthy. You can actually see where the uh, the window panes were. So we're going to have all the front house windows uh, upstairs, anyways, cleaned inside and out, sills cleaned, and screens in. Work is done. It's 2:51 in the morning. Today was another very productive day. Uh, all of the upstairs windows cleaned inside out, window pane screens. I just told you that, but it's all done, obviously by now. Uh, I talked to Colt for a little bit and um, did some emails. I got those pretty much done and the Watch Later playlist I cleared out like two hours. That was good times. Anyways, I got a comment in yesterday's vlog about the car um, and how I mentioned in an article or a comment or something on e39source.com, links below, uh, that I wasn't done with it. And I think that any car enthusiast, regardless of the, the kind of car it is, if you're a true enthusiast, you're never really done. There's always something pending that you're looking to do in the future, and that's most definitely the case here with me. You know, some people buy a car and just drive it, and if something goes wrong, then you consider fixing it. And if it's important, you do, and if you can afford it, you do. And if it's not important or you can't afford it, you don't care, you don't fix it. And then when it goes into the ground, you sell it or get rid of it, and you get another one and do the same thing. Uh, and then there's the opposite case, where you buy a car that is pretty good and uh, and then needs a little bit of work, and you work on it, and you continue to work on it. Um, this car I got July 2010, so almost three years ago, and it's virtually unrecognizable to what, I, what we purchased and brought home uh, July 28th, 26th, 2010. 
Uh, we've done a lot. And sorry, this is going to be a long clip. If you don't want to watch, thanks for watching. That's okay. Cool. You don't need to hear me rant, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. But if you do care and you do want to watch, thank you. Here's the next nine minutes or whatever it's going to be. Looking at the back, well, uh, we did the taillights to the facelift taillights. Those are Hella OEM um, retrofit to fit the 2000 light buckets, which are a little bit uh, shallower. But uh, it's all the same thing. The only thing that you would be able to tell that it's not the actual stuff that came with the car. It doesn't have the LED markers in the side, which personally I prefer. I think it looks better without it, but it's cool either way. So I did that. I replaced the three badges on the back. You know, they were just faded, and this one had a little bubble in the paint, so I replaced that. License plate frame, big deal. Um, worked over the exhaust, cleaned the inside and outside with uh, some metal polisher and got that looking real nice. Wheels, one of them, this one was uh, refinished on the inside, had a bit of a ding. I've had a set of tires put on the car. Whole thing's been restored paint-wise, mostly where I want it. Clay bar, the full Zeno treatment, stripped all the old wax and built up the Zeno, and it hasn't had a good treatment in months, and it still feels and looks great. Um, moving around to the front, we've done the front headlights. These are Hella facelift OEM uh, European-style lights. The front bumper was replaced, fog lights were replaced, grills were replaced, the kidney grills and the grill, the lower grill down there was replaced. Inside, there's been a lot inside with the shifter, uh, shift knob, shift boot, e-brake handle, e-brake boot, navigation, computer in the trunk, screen up here, the cluster was replaced, uh, the center console trim was replaced. Fixed the mirror, you know, they get the bubble in the mirror, I took care of that. And a lot of stuff hardware wise, brake rotors and pads all around, um, hood, or under the hood, engine-wise, let's see, we did the crankshaft position sensors, thermostat, water pump, coolant temperature sensor, DME box, trunk valve, or trunk uh, gas tank, DMTL pressure valve, spark plugs, oxygen sensors, both pre-cat and post-cat. All the bulbs have been whited out in the headlights and taillights, should have mentioned that before, but lots of stuff under the hood. Air filters, of course, oil, basic maintenance, fluid flush, coolant flush, brake flush, all of that. Um, big things I haven't done, clutch, uh, that should have another 20, 30,000, I'm hoping 10, 20, 30,000 in the clutch. Um, I felt it slip before, not recently, and not bad. Okay, so what am I going to do now? Well, there's maintenance things that I want to do. I'm sure I missed stuff that I've already done, but maintenance-wise, my passenger mirror over here has um, the seal or something is broken in it. There's a little bit of discoloration there and over to here it's not that big of a deal but it is slowly getting worse and it is bothering me. The mirror glass from BMW is very expensive so I'm going to see if I can find a used one, M5 board, something like that. Take care of that, have that replaced. It's pretty simple. You just tilt the mirror out like this and then there's a, a, a clip under it that you pull over and then it comes out. And there's all kind of wiring in it because it dims when the auto dimming mirror dims, it dims the side mirrors as well. That's an M5 specialty feature and uh, it's heated to get ice and stuff off. So I, I, well, I've got to do that. Done wiper blades too for the record. Um, what else do I want to do? Well, the steering wheel is one of the big things in the car that is not totally facelifted. In September 2001, for the 2002 model year, BMW decided to change the steering wheel to one the one that you'll find in the E46 M3. It's a different three-spoke design. I like it, but I just don't know if it fits in the E39. I'm so used to this one. This steering wheel, to me, looks like this kind of BMW design language. You know, pre-bangle, a little bit more squared off, a little bit more rigid design uh, language versus the other steering wheel is a little bit more modern, kind of E46, E90, E60 style, and it's a beautiful wheel. Doesn't add any function. It would be purely cosmetic to me, and it would also be about a thousand dollars to upgrade for new parts. I could probably sell what I have, maybe recoup three, four hundred in the airbag and steering wheel combo. So I may do that in the future. I don't know. There's more important places to put that money. Um, I need to buy all new Zeno stuff. I have like five percent left of everything, so I've got to do that this spring. Other than that, there's not going to be a whole lot of new hardware and, and upgrades like that. Um, I may have the rear bumper repainted sometime. Uh, this parking sensor needs to be painted, maintenance, things like that. There's a little bit of rust that I've noticed here that I'll have dealt with later on. Uh, one of the rockers, one of the, one of the jack points has a little bit of rust around it too. I think it's that one. So I'll deal with that sometime this spring. Couple nicks on the front, you know, highway miles. Took a 1,300 mile road trip to New York and Washington. So yeah, that needs to be cleaned up at some point. 
Uh, other than that, though, like I said, there's not a lot of new stuff that the car needs, and as things break and wear and fail, they'll be replaced, and a couple little cosmetic improvements here and there. I'd like to get a buffer tool and go over the, uh, the trunk lid. There's very minor swirl scratches, uh, mostly over here. Somebody probably set something there at one point. Just sitting down to edit three things I forgot for that clip. Uh, exhaust camshaft position sensors, Vanos chain tensioner, and the M Audio subwoofers. Uh, in the back. Those are three things I may do in the future. Sorry I had to add that in. So I hope that answers your question. There's nothing big. The steering wheel would probably be the, the really only big cosmetic change that the car will see. And who knows how long I'll have it. I could have it 20 years. I could have it four months and then get something newer. I have no idea. I, I don't quite see that in the cards per se, but um, you know, stay tuned. Stay tuned to E39 stories. I think Colt's Alcantara headline, headliner video is up. He got that finished. Pro project is done. It looks amazing. So, uh, so that video is going to be up later on, but uh, I've already talked for like, oh my God, seven minutes. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on uh, Tuesday today, Tuesday the 16th. Hope your taxes went in well and uh, thoughts and prayers to Boston. Horrible, uh, horrible events today. So talk to you guys tomorrow. Sleep well. Good night.